my name is Laura Willis and I'm a solicitor at Myerson. I specialise in helping administrators and executors deal with an estate when someone has died. This is called probate and part of the process is to deal with the tax. Capital gains tax arises when an asset is sold after the date of death and the sale price is more than the date of death value. For example, if an estate includes a property that is worth £300,000 at the date of death and it subsequently sells for, say, £340,000 after death, then capital gains tax is payable on the difference between the date of death value and the sale value. Executors and administrators are responsible for reporting and paying capital gains tax in an estate. For most assets, this must be done at the end of the probate process but for any taxable gains on residential properties, then the deadline is 30 days from the date of completion of the sale. It may be possible to allocate some of the gain to the beneficiaries in the estate to save tax overall, but it will only be possible to do this if you sign a deed of appropriation before contracts are exchanged, and so you should take advice well before a sale completes. If you have been appointed as an executor or you are an administrator in an estate and you have any concerns about the tax position after death, then please contact me or a member of our team on 0161 941 4000 or email lawyers at myerson.co.uk.